Hello, hello, hello. So the rat pill and temperature controller, are they any good? Are they worth your money? Well, let's find out. Well, it's been two months now and I've put several rushes through um, the wrapped system. So what do I think? Well, the wrapped pill, I really like it. If you're going to be buying this solely as the wrapped pill and nothing else, another wrapped system, it will be good because then you can then see in graphs on your mobile phone or laptop, you can see how it's going, if it's uh, what temperature, the specific gravity, but I wouldn't rely on this 100% and say this is 100% accurate. It'll be pretty close, but it won't remove the, the, the need of having a glass hydrometer. I still think you need to do a start gravity and a finish gra or final gravity um, because these will uh, get skewed over time. And obviously uh, I did one where it had lots of foam on the top and that will could weight it down. I'm not saying it will do, but I, I, don't, I don't trust these 100%, 99.9%. When I did tests, of uh, taking the, the, the specific gravity during a wash, like every day, the readings I got from my glass hydrometer were spot on to what this was saying. But then when they said it was finished, the actual, it reckoned it was, was it 0 0.988 or something like that. And I thought, well, 990 is the, the, the lowest you can get. So I don't really trust that so well. Um, but generally for doing a wash and keeping an eye on it and everything else, it's absolutely spot on. So really happy. As you can see, I've changed the lid to a red one and I have bought the extras uh, and I really like the fact that you can do that. Uh, I have bought the spare bottom. Um, so if I ever need that, it gets damaged. And then I also have a bag of O-rings. I haven't bought the battery. I see no point of buying one of those. That's going to degrade over time. So as and when this starts not just holding a charge for very long, I'll then buy a new battery, but really impressed with it. So very, very good. Would I suggest buying this if you're just going to use this by itself? If you've got the spare money, yeah, great, because it works really well and it does 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 a great job. Would I recommend this over a tilt? Oh yeah, definitely. The fact that it's got wireless on there uh, rather than the, the tilt, you've got to have Bluetooth to stand next to it or have a Raspberry Pi or a separate computer or something repeated to do it. Um, and it's also a lot cheaper. Do I think this is better than the iSpindle? Don't know, not got an ice bindle. I haven't tried it to be honest, and I, I don't want to because while I'm sure it's good, this system is far better in my eyes. So it's more reliable, I think. Couldn't tell you, but I personally love it. Now, going over to the temperature controller, this was absolutely brilliant. When I ran this by itself uh, with a built in temperature probe, it was really good and it did a great job, but I've already built my own temperature controller, so this wasn't doing anything that that couldn't do apart from um, being able to remote program it, uh, whereas mine, I had to stand next to it. But it was really good, really enjoyed it, and it managed to keep everything very close. I told mine to um, the heat difference between what I wanted to where it heats or cools, uh, I think by default, something like five or four, I can't remember what degrees, I changed it to half a degree. So literally, if it gets half a degree too hot or cold, turn something on, and it works beautifully with the setup I've got. If you get one of these and have different heating elements or, or cooling, depending on your fridge, you might need to change that different from what I had, but it worked. Now, putting the two together, oh my God, it was amazing. It was the fact that I can then be at home and go, oh, where we are, I'm gonna turn this up or turn that down and program it, and they work together really well. And it was, it was incredible. Um, I've even created a spirit profile, which says, Heat this chamber or the, the brewing vessel to 28 degrees and keep heating it to 20 degrees until the specific gravity gets to 0 0.990. When the heating gets or the specific gravity gets to that, cool to three degrees Celsius for seven days. But don't start the countdown of seven days until you've actually reached three degrees. Because if you can imagine 25 liters of liquid at 28 degrees Celsius in a standard fridge, trying to cool that to three degrees, that takes quite a few days. It doesn't do that overnight. So that way it doesn't remove the, it doesn't give, it get seven days from the point it's finished. And then anyway, once it's done seven days at three degrees Celsius, it sends me an email saying, a wash is done and it's been cold crashed. So I can go over to it. Nice and simple. I don't need to do anything. The graph seem really accurate. Um, it, it, it's just really, really good. Um, so as I said, I've got two of these and I love it, and I would highly, highly recommend, if you've got the money, 
uh, to be able to buy these, I would, yeah, do it. Now, if you're only just bringing it back bedroom and you're always there, then you probably don't need it. It's a bit overkill, but uh, generally, I love it. Brilliant. So I hope you found this informational and uh, see you next time. <laughs>